Hey, 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 this is Teke Teke Nation Live again. And um, so, um, yesterday, yesterday, um, the Azimio team led by Honorable Raila Modotinga, they actually held their first consultative meeting at Kampunji Grounds. And the main purpose was to start pushing government to ensure that GAVA in a comply. So, President Ruto is out here with his team, uh, the deputy, the cabinet secretaries, and led by the cabinet secretary for interior, uh, Professor uh, Kiture Kindiki. They are here to provide security to, uh, to as mere demonst uh, demonstrators. And they ironically speak so, uh, indicating that uh, these demonstrations would not yield to anything. But as we know, Raila Odinga, he's a pusher, he's a mobilizer. He's not some lightweight, he's a serious heavyweight. So, looking at how things are happening, Ruto already, and even his deputy, indicated that there is no room for a handshake. So, by any force, no room of a handshake. But knowing Raila very well, he's not a man to ignore. Raila is not a man to ignore. If you think you can ignore him, ask President Moy. Ask. Ask anyone, ask anyone who has been here reading and studying the Kenyan politics. But, so what happened is, um, uh, at Kamkunji, these guys had a couple of demands. So, and I, I really uh, like this stuff, I can't um, uh, uh, cram all this in my head now. But there are a couple of demands these guys uh, put um, um, to the president. And they now want the president to take quick action. If not, they will not give him peace. And just to quickly run through the demands that uh, the Azmir team uh, have. One, the uh, need for the Ruto regime to be put under intense scrutiny and pressure by Kenyans to be forced to return the people's agenda which the regime has discarded. That's the first, uh, the first demand. The second one is that uh, the Ruto administration be pressurized to institute measures to reduce the cost of basic commodities. This is the second demand. They want the cost of basic commodities uh, to come down. The third demand is that uh, the Ruto regime must restore the school fee subsidy. So for both, in secondary schools, they want the school subsidy to be, uh, 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 um, uh, to be restored as soon as possible. They have a fourth demand, which is that uh, the Ruto regime to be made immediately to restore and enhance subsidies in the area of social safety in the form of cash transfers to the elderly. So this is that the fourth demand. The fifth demand is that... Um, the Ruto regime be pressured uh, and, and be made to institute discipline, order and clarity in the ranks so that Kenyans can have clarity on critical policy issues, failure to which Kenyans will be at liberty to disobey the incoherent roadside declarations. The sixth one is that uh, the Ruto regime be pressured to embrace the rule of law, especially uh, to me on a case whereby the new team claims that uh, the Ruto team, the Kenya Kwanza team, will be pocket the judiciary. Now, you've seen that the, that the president attend a couple of events uh, 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 the judiciary. And so the allegations, the claims along the streets that the judiciary perfectly pocketed. The third one is that um, in strict adherence to the constitution and the rule of law, Ruto be pre uh, uh, pressed to take the steps to ensure that the composition of the civil service reflects the ethnic, regional, and religious, and gender diversity of our land. So claims happen apparently that most of, of the government appointments is meant to have a Rift Valley and, and, and Central. The eighth one, Kazim Tani project be immediately restored. So that's the eighth demand. The ninth demand is that Ruto be compelled to permanently discard any ideas and plans to bring GM uh, crops and seeds to Kenya. EO Mesha Petitia, Cabinet Elisha Petitia, so GM, uh, 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 GMO is here. And then um, uh, we they also decry the ongoing collapse of the criminal justice system that has seen the DPP withdraw a couple of cases that were, were, were in the courts. Uh, so uh, the likes of uh, Deputy President Hosare Bogashagwa, case mob, most of the cases Zimekwa dropped. The tenth one is um, um, the, eleventh, the eleventh one, actually. The Hustler Fund be constituted in line with the rule of law, correct legislation, and without illegal threats to the youth who tap into it. In fact, most of the people who spoke at, uh, at uh, this event, what they did, they already um, started mobilizing the, their supporters not to, to take the loan and refuse to pay. And I remember uh, Babu Wino saying that uh, 
how many how many uh, nini prisons do we have that can accommodate all Kenyans who would refuse to to pay these uh, uh, these uh, these loans so there are several several demands that as new team were the place now wao wamesha anzisha moto what we wait to hear is how will the Kenya Kwanza government react or respond to these demands so it is a tough thing ruto has already taken a very hard line that no blinking no handshake nothing raila is uh, clearly taking a very hard stand that for him if these demands are not met the 11 demands that have been for him, if they are not met in totality then president ruto will not have peace what we can only do is to wait and see who will blink first these are two hardline politicians very experienced very powerful with huge uh, uh, support base across the country what we can only wait to see is between Raila Molo Dinga and his Azimio team and between the president of the day and his team who will blink first in your view who will blink first please go on YouTube channel Stakataka Nation Live and subscribe